of thinking is I'll just show you a couple of the cool little concepts that I used in that solo. There are things all over guitarjams.com. I mean, basically everything in that solo I, I've taught. Now when I'm up in this zone where the root's on the A string there, I was doing a lot of stuff right here. So it'd be like 12, 14 on the D and 12, 14 on the G. It's like, you know, three, five, but five's the root. Three, five, three, five, slide up. Uh, you know, five, seven, five, seven, slide up. Eight, 10, eight, 10, slide up. The other thing I was using was the A root extension. And these are things, like I said, I mean, I've emphasized a lot. So you got the root here on the 12th fret. The extension for this one, and this is still all the same scale, the A minor pentatonic scale. Um, you know, you got 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, which is great. And check this out. Listen to the notes. Now watch this. same thing exact same thing in a different spot good to know slid up to 14 12 14 and with the a minor pentatonic with the root on the a string looks a little different we get the 13th fret on the B to 15 and then uh, 12 to 15 on the high E so there's one little part where I was like, very simple, just going down the scale on one string. And I slid that back. So knowing your minor pentatonic on one string, besides the extensions, is extremely helpful. what you can do is if you know I mean just like anything okay so that's kind of the the thought process behind it but then I was using little elements of the modes like the minor scale but still thinking of the minor pentatonic so um, instead of the eighth fret on the high E you also have the seventh fret on the high E even bend that up a half step. 